Hi everybody. So in the last video we just uh, finished what did we just finish? We finished riveting on the three back uh, pieces of the tail cone, the bulkheads. So now that we are ready to actually start riveting on the skins, we cannot yet as it's now a good time to go ahead and run some more cabling. It's not again. It's not the most pain in the ass thing ever, but uh, Vans makes it very easy. All the cords, everything is actually pre-cut, and they tell you exactly how much line to leave everywhere, and they tell you which uh, which one of the zip ties. You know, don't tighten these zip ties yet. There's going to be more, and you, you're looking at the amount of zip tie space you've got left, and you're like, well, I'm just going to have to cut that. Now I have to put a new zip tie on because that thing's not going to be close. Here I've got a visit from Liz and uh, one of her students. nice young man I think you'll act, you'll actually see him in a few videos because he he's a he's a, a nice high school kid and he wants to go to the Air Force Academy he's 17 he's getting his pilot's license and so he wants to do a lot of volunteer time around uh, airports so I've got uh, plenty of many uh, meaning me meaningful not meaningful menial tasks for him to do sweeping etc so in uh, before we start riveting, like I said, we're running some extra cables. I've got the uh, ELT co coax run. Uh, I'm running the uh, VOR. I think it's a VOR antenna. It just says UAT cable, but I'm pretty sure that's probably what the v where the VOR goes. Uh, antenna down to the bottom. You also run the phone jack. It's not a phone jack, so it's an RJ11 cable, but it's not because it's for the ELT and it's for the switch that's in the front in the panel. Uh, but the, the, it's not a regular phone cord. They switched the polarity on it from back to front. So if you did try to use it in your phone, if anyone has a phone that needs an RJ45, uh, 45, RJ11 plug, no one has those anymore, uh, it would not work. So take that, technology. So luckily everything is relatively easy to get to. Uh... My arms aren't short, they're not long either, so average length arm, six foot dude, you can reach everything no problem. There's the neighbor coming in to check it out, and another one of the members. The weather's been beautiful lately, so we've been getting a lot of flying. Actually, it's funny, one of our planes uh, in the last 30 days has flown 100 hours. So it's already due for another inspection already. So here we are just mock testing, uh, putting one of the top skins on. Just to, you know, wanted to see how it looks. And uh, massive, it looks massive. But I'm glad that, I'm glad that's how it looks. I, you know, I always thought this thing was like this, you know toy. Oh, there he is now. Perfect. So there's Mark. I've got him in the background sweeping. You'll see that occasionally. Um, I always thought this thing felt like I was building a Tonka toy, but once you start putting skins on and in a little while, we I think we test the uh, vertical stabilizer on it, it, it starts to grow. So you, you start to see that, oh my god, I'm actually building a plane. And now I'm in too deep. So there's my buddy Ted. Ted has come over because it is time to start riveting on the skins. So what we do, uh, just like every other big piece of aluminum that we uh, rivet to a structure, what we've done is we started from the center. Uh, we started from the center of this left skin, uh, both horizontally and vertically, and just kind of m mushroomed out in a concentric circle going outward. So you know, a few. So basically, a few down the center J channel, and then a few up and down on the rib and then a few more until you wind up doing all of the rib and you mat and you meet uh, the laundron at the top and the secondary stiffener at the bottom and then you start doing those and you just kind of go sideways helps take any ripples out of the uh, out of the skin if there is any but like us I, I mean Vans has this thing so tight The only way that something doesn't fit, it would have to be some kind of atmospheric phenomenon.
Now, the one pain in the butt, I will say, uh, is trying to get to the uh, rivets at the bottom. So where the side skin meets the bottom skin, uh, it, it gets a little weird. And so you have to tilt the fuse... Uh, I keep wanting to call this the fuselage, and it is. You have to tilt the fuselage on its side. Uh, so you have to make sure that before you do that, that the other side is amply clicoed in place. And I do apologize for the horrible, horrible camera angle. Oh, also joining this today is my lovely wife. Say hi, lovely wife. Hi, lovely wife. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. So, anyway, I uh, will see you in the next video.